Hey guys, we're going to do blood flow through the heart in this video. We're going to start with the right side, and we're going to talk about how blood is going to go through the right side of the heart. It's deoxygenated blood, which means oxygen poor, so very, very low in oxygen content. It's going to go to the lungs. It's going to pick up oxygen. That's the job of the lungs, to put oxygen in the blood, and then bring the blood back to the heart again. This time, it'll go to the left side. So, again, we're going to start with the right. We're going to talk about, again, how blood's going to go through the right side. So, Again, right side, I'm just going to highlight here. Okay, again, keeping in mind, this is deoxygenated blood. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and start from the blood vessels that are going to return all the blood back to the right side of the heart. And that large vessel that's going to do that is going to be the superior and inferior vena cava. They're going to return all the blood to the right side of the heart. So we'll just start with that, superior and inferior vena cava. And they're going to dump blood into the right atrium. Okay. Superior vena cava is going to dump blood from the upper half of the body. Okay, so head, neck, and basically upper half of the chest here. And then the lower half of the body is going to have blood returned through the inferior vena cava. Again, all going to the right atrium. Okay. Once blood goes to the right atrium, of course, the right atrium is going to fill. It's going to send blood into the right ventricle, and the blood's going to go through a valve called the right atrioventricular valve. Now, we can also call this valve, again, that's the right atrioventricular valve. We can also call this valve the tricuspid valve. Okay. So either name is correct. <clears throat> this valve has three cusps. It's also referred to as the tricuspid. The right AV valve is the more common term we use now. So again, once the blood passes through this valve, it's going to go into the right ventricle, okay? Filling the right ventricle and then going into another valve, the pulmonary, the pulmonary valve, okay? So it's going to go through that. This is one of our semilunar valves, okay? So when blood passes through this valve, it's on its way out of the heart. So what, what vet blood vessel is going to leave blood out of the heart? It's going to be the pulmonary trunk. It's hard to read all this, but this is the pulmonary trunk. Then we're going to go into right and left pulmonary right and left pulmonary arteries, okay? And then last but not least, right and left lungs. Again, like we mentioned, gas exchange is going to occur in the lungs where oxygen is going to be basically uh, uh, uploaded, if you will, into the, or loaded into the bloodstream. CO2 is going to be given off, okay? And that's going to occur in the lungs. So then, once the lungs do their thing, again, picking up oxygen, giving off CO2, we're going to have blood return back to the heart, this time to the left side. As you're going to notice now, this is going to be oxygenated blood, because now all the, the blood has been oxygenated from the lungs. So now we've got oxygenated blood on the left side. Uh, we want to think about the left side being the systemic side, because the left side is going to pump through the entire going to supply blood to the heart itself, so the heart can function properly. There's going to be coronary arteries. It's also going to pump to literally the entire body, okay, to supply blood. So we're going to call this the systemic circuit. You want to think systemic when you hear left side, okay? So what blood is going to re be returned um, from the lungs? It's going to be blood through the right and left pulmonary veins. Okay, it's going to return to the left atrium. Okay, so now we're going through the left side. We are going to have a valve here, just like we had on the right side. We're going to have the left atrioventricular valve, or we could call it the bicuspid, or we could call it the mitral valve, okay? 
That leads us into same thing on the other side, left ventricle. We have to keep in mind, we're writing these sides separately, but blood is going through the right and left side simultaneously. Both valves are opening at the same time. Both valves should be closing at the same time, giving us our first heart sound. Second set of valves, this is our pulmonary. On the left side, it's going to be our aortic valve. The pulmonary and aortic valves open at the same time. They close at the same time. So once blood goes through the aortic valve, blood will then leave the heart through the aorta. Okay. Sometimes people call it the ascending aorta, but it's the aorta. Okay. And then where is blood headed? Blood's going to, of course, go through many, many arteries as they go into organs and tissues, and that's the bottom line. We're just gonna say blood's gonna go to the entire body. Again, what's gonna happen at the tissue level? There's gonna be a gas exchange again. Oxygen this time is gonna be given off, meaning it's gonna leave the blood to supply the tissues with oxygen, and CO2 is gonna be picked up, okay? Basically entering the bloodstream. Ultimately, to be given off again when it reaches back to the lungs. So again, this is our entire blood flow. It's as simple as this. Keep in mind, it's an entire cycle. When the blood is used and supplied, and supplied to the entire body, it's gonna basically go back to the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava, do the whole thing again. So that's our entire blood flow. Thanks, and we'll do another video soon.